Mesothelioma is one of the world's deadliest forms of cancer. For decades, scientists have struggled to unlock the mysteries of the disease. Recently, two milestone discoveries have been made that will forever change the face of patient diagnosis and treatment. The groundbreaking work came from an international team of scientists led by Dr. Michele Carboni at the University of Hawaii Cancer Center. As cars and trucks travel gravel roads in parts of the western United States, they stir up more than dirt. The dust left behind can contain such high levels of the mineral arionite that those breathing the air may be at an increased risk of developing mesothelioma, an aggressive cancer of the lining of the chest and abdomen, normally associated with asbestos exposure. Through research funded by the National Cancer Institute, Dr. Carboni and colleagues have uncovered potential cancer risk in certain states from exposure to arionite. The mineral is normally contained in rock, but when fibers become airborne, such as when rock is crushed for gravel, exposure over time can be deadly. The team first discovered arionites linked to cancer in the Cappadocia region of Turkey where half of all deaths in certain villages were due to the disease. Dubbed death villages, many of the homes were built from local rock that contained arionite, and high concentrations were detected in the surrounding area. The research that we are just about uh, to publish uh, in uh, the proceeding of the National Academy of Science about our discovery of uh, significant uh, environmental exposure in uh, uh, large part of the United States to a mineral fiber called arionite that is a fiber similar to asbestos but about 200 to 800 times more potent than asbestos according to the International Agency of Research on Cancer. We have now uncovered significant exposure to arionite in several states in the United States of America. Meanwhile, another important study was underway. The search for a genetic link to mesothelioma had eluded Dr. Carboni for more than a decade. Then persistence paid off. Dr. Carboni and colleagues discovered a mutation in the BAP1 gene that increases an individual's risk for mesothelioma, melanoma of the eye, and potentially other cancers. This is the first gene that proves the concepts that the genetic makeup of an individual influence how that individual will be um, susceptible to environmental carcinogens. It's very important, uh, especially because uh, it gives us uh, a tool to identify among the many people who are exposed to asbestos or to arionite, those who are at higher risk. There are uh, an estimated 27 million people who have been exposed to asbestos in the United States. It's impossible to follow all of them up for early detection. Now since we found this gene, we can definitely screen those people who have been exposed to asbestos and we know who might get higher risk of getting this disease. And what we can do is, after we find those individuals who have a mutation in this gene, we can track close, monitor them. 27 million people in the U.S. have been exposed to asbestos. It's still too early to know how many more may have been exposed to arionite. But through the discovery of the BAP1 gene mutation and development of effective screening methods, countless lives may be saved through earlier detection.